Then my final question for you is, what three specific tips you can give to job seekers in order to elevate their job search strategies? All right, number one, don't ever stop. Mm -hmm. Always be on the hunt, always be on the lookout, always push yourself to be looking at job descriptions, different organizations, mm -hmm. you know, it's a game. So treat it like a game. I still, as a almost 50 year old next year, have a list in my Evernote of organizations and job roles that I would be interested in. And, and I, I may apply, I may not, but I'm always researching and looking out for potential opportunities as a person. So that would be number one. Number two, and I know I sound like a broken record, Maher, but build and tend to the garden that is your network. If you're not tending to and naturalizing and nurturing and you know, fertilizing that and watering, if you will, the garden of your network, I don't know what the percentage is. I'm probably going to have to go look this up. But so many opportunities come as a result of your network. Yes. So if you hide if you're not out there and it doesn't mean introvert versus extrovert that's not what i'm getting at at all what i'm getting at is a network can help you unravel uh on uh, source uh determine what some of these roles might be so that would be number two and then number three if you're not yourself yeah you know on linkedin on twitter if you're not yourself in coffee shops if you're just pretending to be someone else, you'll get caught. Yeah. So again, I have unfortunately at times hired folks where they didn't work out because I got caught up in the, oh, uh -huh. they're this person, but actually they weren't. And they faked mm -hmm. their way through an interview or the onboarding or whatever, but you get found out and then you end up being terminated. So don't do something so stupid in so much as you're trying to be someone that you're not. And that's not about lying or faking your resume. I'm just talking about you. Yeah. Do not be uh, anyone other than yourself. Be your true authentic self. And I think wherever it is that you may land, that's gonna help you because then you'll be comfortable in your own skin in that particular new role and company. And those are great tips, Dan, thank you very much. And I hope my audience will benefit uh, from those tips in their job search. And with that, my interview with you comes to an end. Again, thank you for taking the time to ask you these questions. I really enjoyed the conversation with you. Uh, I hope we can meet uh, when you come to Vancouver, when the pandemic is over, we can have some coffee and talk, talk some more. And for the audience watching, listening, as I mentioned, if you like any of the videos, please like and share, comment, uh, reach to us to our social uh, platforms. We're more than happy to help you. And tune in next time for another great interview series. Dan, thank you and have a great day. Bye. Thank, thank you so much. Bye. -bye.